What is up you guys, it's Violet Telly here and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. Yes, as you guys can see, I'm doing the item shop switchover. This will be taking us from Monday night into early Tuesday morning. And yeah, uh, pretty much, we had some pretty damn cool items reintroduced last night. We had the return of the henchman bundle, we had the return of the madcap himself, we had the return of the harvest bounty bundle, and we had the return of Mel and Batty. But what we're going to get tonight in, wait for it, I'm excited, I'm excited. Three, two, one, let's go! Sorry if I'm talking down a bit, my dad's asleep in the next room, so I've got to be quiet. Ooh! <laughs> Man, we've got some skins returning tonight. But anyway, as you guys can see, we have the return of an Icon Series bundle, and that is the Loser Fruit bundle. Literally, I'm going to be doing an Is It Or Is It Not Worth It bundle on this after the item shop, but I can tell you now, 100% it is worth it. But anyway, let's check out Loser Fruit. Starting us off, we have the Loser Fruit skin. Again, absolutely amazing. Good vibes only. Part of the Loser Fruit set. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 3. She's an animated skin, so you get like her sleeves down the sides of her trousers or like her gym leggings because um, she's a gym fitness. Uh, and then we also get her trainers that are literally just glowing. Oh, the blade as well. I forgot about the blade. But yeah, I absolutely love Loser Fruit. I haven't watched that much of her content, but I literally just saw her and I was just like, yeah, I like you. Anyway, moving us on to the Icon Series Buddy Bag. Keep your friends close. We've got several plushies in here. I forgot what that bunny one's called again. I know it's an Easter skin. But anyway, we have the Tomato Head skin in there. We have Peely, which is pretty damn cool. Oh, I didn't realize actually her head her um, uh, head Ugh. the logo on her hat actually was animated as well but again can i just say we like those baby because just like in real life loser fruit has got some cheeks but yeah she keeps herself fit i think she's an australian youtuber but yeah i do enjoy her content i have watched a bit of it but anyway moving away from the bat bling we have the icon series emote bounce berry one sweet berry part of the loser fruit set wait for it Wow, jeez, I absolutely love that. Again, moving us on to the Icon Series Fruit Punchers. Vitamin packed and ready to slash. Now, pretty cool thing with this is, there's the watermelon gun. There's the other watermelon. There's the orange. There's the orange. Yeah, sadly, the only watermelon, the watermelon's the only thing that disappears, but you get, you get the point anyway. But yeah, I absolutely love these, like, I call them fruit kebabs, which they pretty much are. But yeah, absolutely amazing. 2,600 V-Bucks, I 100% recommend grabbing the Loser Fruit Bundle. Also, I recommend checking out her content because she's quite decent. Anyway, moving us on to the featured store, as you guys can see, we have the return of the Focus Skin. And we have a harvesting tool now, which is pretty cool. We usually only ever get her in the daily store. Anyway, we have the Focus Skin. Visualize the future. Part of the Focal Point set, first introduced in OG Season 9. Looking pretty damn badass, I have to say so myself. Moving us on to her bat bling, we have the Chuck Pack, wield responsibly. I mean, again, the bag is absolutely badass. Also, I mean, how could you not want a bat bling that comes with three nunchucks? What? Let's go. Anyway, before I get carried away, moving on to her actual harvesting tool, we have the Fixation. Sharp focus and relentless. Absolutely badass. Again, loving the kind of like lights at the top and the bottom. Again, pretty damn cool. I know oh, there is a name for this weapon in Asian culture. I forgot what it's called. I know it's a spear, but there's usually like another name for it. Anyway, moving away from that, we have the return of the OG Bright Bomber. The future looks bright. Part of the Sunshine and Rainbows set, first introduced in the OG Season 1. Yeah, pretty much everybody in the mother's got this skin. Moving on to the male, however, we have the Bright Gunner. Look on the bright side. Saying that, there's literally a cuddle team leader bear with two mini Uzis and a nuke in the background. But anyway, look on the brighter side. First introduced two seasons after the original Bright Mama, which I think is pretty cool. But yeah, moving us on to the backling, we have the Bright Bag. Don't forget to pack a smile. And what do we see there? We have a little cute little bunny rabbit on the um, zipper there, which is pretty damn cool. Moving us away from this, however, we have the return of the Rainbow Smash Reactive Harvesting Tool. Now. Jumping straight in, beat the stuffing out of them. 
part of the sunshine and rainbow set. Now, this is reactive pretty much on how you use the harvesting tool. Obviously, if you're harvesting wood, metal, brick, you know what it is. But anyway, pretty much the unicorn horn will have like a swivel effect and it will add sparkles. So it'll actually look like it's lit up, which I think is pretty damn cool. Moving us on to the last but not least item, we have the bright blimp. Rainbow Power. Part of the sunshine and rainbow set. I love the fact that it like... The, I love the fact that the unicorn comes in, or the llama corn, and then the wings, I mean, sorry, the, uh, the cloud and everything comes afterwards. Pretty damn cool. First introduced in the OG Season 7, so several seasons after both skins it was introduced. Moving us on to the return of the Brat Pack. I don't really need to go in depth on this because I did do it. Is it or is it not worth it bundle on this? If I didn't, then I will come back and do one after the item shop. But yeah, pretty simple skin. He's got two selectable styles. You can have it with the hat on or the hat off, and then pretty much with the the bat bling you can have like several diff different combinations of like a hot dog or a duffel dog pretty cool though i'm sure i did a bundle video on this but anyway moving us on to the daily store where we have some really badass items we have the return of the astra skin a constellation of skill and talent part of the shooting stars set first introduced in chapter 2 season 1 now she does have two styles she has the constellations and then she has the star version i'm still deciding which one i like more i do probably like the constellation one more but she does have an alternate skin as well, which focuses a bit more, a bit more on like flow, flow, solar flares. Sorry, but yeah, this is a pretty dope skin. I definitely recommend grabbing her. Moving on to her bat bling, we have the shining star. Follow the way. If you guys don't know what this is inspired by, if you've ever heard the phrase "follow the north star," it is the brightest in the sky. It always points north, and it will always lead you home. This is what they were talking about. But yet, we have your Fortnite. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Maximilian scheme, which I haven't seen in a long time. Pilot your way to victory, part of the Aviation Age set, first introduced in Chapter 6. Uh, sorry, Season 6, sorry, the OG Season 6. There we go. Pretty badass. Again, loving the kind of like aviation goggles and stuff like that. Moving us on to the bat bling, we have the Para Provisions, packed at altitude. Again, loving the little symbol there as well. Loving the fact that it literally looks like it's pulled in with cords. Yeah, that's definitely secure having your parachute in there. But anyway, guys, moving away from that, we have the return of the very sneaky Trivilsa emote, one of my personal favourites that I like to use. Stealth mode engaged. First introduced in OG Season X, which is Traversal, of course. Reminds me of old PS2 games where you used to sneak around levels. Moving away from that, we have the On Your Mark emote. Don't forget to stretch. Whew, I'm ready, I'm ready. Chapter 2, Season 3. Let's go! <laughs> Moving us on to the last two items, we have the Office Chariot, which is a traversal emote, of course. Go for a spin. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 5. You can't tell me that you've never done this, either in school or when you've just been in an office somewhere. Everybody's done this. Moving on to the last, we have the Staff Stand, which is a pretty cool emote for Daredevil. Staff up and take your stand. First introduced in OG Chapter 2, Season 6. It is, it is literally OG now, Chapter 2. Is. But anyway, moving us away from this, we have the return of various different items, as you guys will see. We still have the Montclair Classic Bundle, which I think is very badass and very epic. Moving us on, we still have Ariana Grande. We then also have the Space Fair at Ariana Grande. And then last but not least, we have these special offers and bundles. But guys, let's not take away from the fact that Loser Fruits bundle is back in Fortnite. Sometimes I like it when they re-release these and they don't bring all the icon skins. Even though sometimes it is nice to get the icon skins back. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, don't forget to smash the dislike button. And let me know in the comments down below why you didn't like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Team Let's Catch a Vibe. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get notified as soon as I upload. But more importantly, don't forget to stay vibe, and I'll catch you on in the next one. Peace.